Hey guys, Cortland here with Electric Import Motors. Today, sunny, beautiful day. We're gonna take out the tank and the pack yak. We recruited some friends here driving. We have Tyler, Nathan behind the wheel, Weston behind the camera. We're gonna be swapping around all day today. But we're gonna take these out. They are fully charged, ready to go. We're gonna see how long the battery lasts. It's 35 degrees out here. Um, expectations, it's gonna be less than the 35 to 40 than the factory says, just because of the cold. We're gonna do this again in the summer. But we really just want to see normal driving conditions, how far they go. So uh, let's hit the road. guys we were on the road but as everyone knows every good adventure needs to start with some snacks so we stopped at the local maverick that's just our local gas station here in utah and we got some snacks i think some someone got pizza there was some uh, candy in there anyways just had to get fueled for such a day but while we were there a whole bunch of highway patrolmen came out of the store they wanted to check it out they looked at the tank for a while they looked at the pack yak they thought the thing was hilarious um and we're just asking a bunch of questions hopefully we're gonna see some uh, utah highway patrolmen cruising around in these soon but uh yeah after we ate some snacks then it was time to uh hit the road and test the rest of these batteries out what do i believe what makes me feel it to write you this song. Hey guys, Cortland here with Electric Import Motors. Uh, we are out on a beautiful day, testing the batteries on these. We are eight and a half miles in, things are still going strong. We have pretty much been on the floor since we started driving and just really cranking it here. Two hours a day, five months and a year. Oh, I loved you too long. And my favorite part about this car is like, you cannot go anywhere without every single person who sees you just like the biggest grin on their face ever. Oh like, yeah, it's awesome. What is that? I mean, even drive. You can't. You can't be upset driving this no. thing. No. Like, that's and dude, that's my that's my feel all the time. It's like, I know it's not the fastest thing. It's not whatever, but like. You just got a smile on your face the whole time. Oh, yeah. Like it's you just have, like so random. You have no miles per hour, but you have all the smiles per hour. Yeah. You keep blowing. Uh, we're about halfway through our test to see the range on these guys. The truck's showing half battery. The tank is showing three quarters still. So we're gonna keep driving and uh, see where we end up. We've been doing lots of normal driving. So we have stops, starts. We've been turning some little hills and <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm in the follow van right now. Um, we've we've let drivers and cameramen swap. We, everyone wants a chance to drive these things. Uh, these three guys who are with me today, none of them have ever driven a pack yak or the tank. So for them, it's like super fun, exciting. It's still fun for me. Look at me, I'm smiling. But what we really wanted to do is we've never taken out the tank or the pack yak and just driven them from a full charge until they're dead. We've messed around, we've charged them. We've messed around, we've charged them. Uh, the claim from the factory is 35 to 40 miles an hour, or excuse me, 40, 35 to 40 miles in range with these lead acid batteries. It is 35 degrees outside and uh, we are at about 4,000 feet elevation. So we really wanna see what that's like. We all know Tesla claims X number and they don't quite do it. Uh, one of the cameramen here that was helping me, he, he has a, a Nissan Leaf and he says it's like 30 miles less than they claim. So we really wanted to get a feel for how many miles we're actually gonna get out of it for some real data in, in the cold. Um, we wanna do this again in the, in the summer and see how it goes. So right now we're 14 miles in and we're just cruising along, no problem. Uh, we're averaging right about 20 miles an hour. And 
yeah, we are just gonna keep going. We'll give you more updates as we go and see how these, these guys last and hopefully we make it back without having to tell anybody. So this is the end of the battery on this thing. Getting down to, uh, looks like 6.5 miles an hour right now on a dirt road. Some mixed driving through neighborhoods with extra load, excuse me, with two riders. Um, and we're coming to the bitter end and the road is bumpy. So my voice has got some vibrato. Guys, Go checking first. back in here, we are at 20 miles so just over 20 miles into our day again it's really cold out here 35 35 degrees and the tank is all but dead so once we about probably three miles ago it started slowing down and just progressively getting slower and slower right now it's cruising at about five miles an hour or slower so uh you know we really wanted to see how far the the pack yak would go today with the batteries as well but instead, we've decided we're going to use whatever's juice is left in the pack yak to tow the tank back to the house. We got about uh, five miles to go to get back, and we're going to see how this goes. Why do you still hurt? Who's wrong and who's right? All right, guys, another update here. We have been towing the pack yak for over a mile, or excuse me, we've been towing the tank for over a mile now with the Pack Yak. Uh, definitely feeling a little lag in the battery of the Pack Yak, but again, he's he's towing 500 pounds here, and uh, we're cruising along. We're a few miles from our destination still, so we're gonna see if we can make it without uh, fully dying. Uh, it's gonna be a close one. We might have to tow this with something else, uh, but it's good to know, in the cold, you are gonna get reduced battery life. Um, Right now we're looking at about 20 miles. I think you're gonna get more than 20 miles even in the cold uh, if you truly went till dead. We were just going so slow that we decided to tow it. Another check-in guys. We've gone about another half a mile and uh, it's getting grim here. We're slowing down a lot. Uh, the, the pack yak is starting to uh, give up the ghosts. We're now cruising at about seven miles an hour, which is still, I mean, we're getting there. So we'll see if we make it back to the house. I keep asking myself, oh, I do. We're still going. Speeds aren't great, but pack yak still towing the tank. Who's wrong and who's right? We made it back. As you guys can see, we had to tow the tank with the uh, with the pack yak, and uh, we made it 23 miles today. Which, with the cold weather, um, you know, not perfectly flat terrain, actually not too bad. And I think the tank, or excuse me, the pack yak probably would have gone even further if it wasn't for the fact that it was towing the tank. So I think we would have got another, you know four or five miles out of the thing. Um, again, they both will still drive. We're just cruising at like five miles an hour at this point. So we didn't see the point to keep going. Um, so my guess is on a hot, normal day, you're gonna get about 30 miles out of these. 30 to 35 is probably more accurate. Uh, again, we're at a higher elevation as well, which uh, might play into to that a, a little bit. Um, but yeah, all in all, just had a fun day out and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, Cortland here with electricformotors.com. It's been so much fun to be out driving these today, checking out the range on these batteries in cold weather. Please like, subscribe, tell us what you thought, and uh, check us out at electricformotors.com. You can pre-order, order cars there. We have some of the tanks left in stock. Get your hats, whatever you want, and uh, we'll see you guys at the next video. Cause I'm sober tonight.